hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that all bell notification in that way you won't miss any time i publish a new video also to mention i started some new youtube channels so be sure to check them out in the description below all right so what are we going to be doing today well today we'll be making okay guys so i'm going to be making a cucumber tomato salsa so um let's get started so here i have my cucumber now i usually peel my cucumber because i know i don't know if it's been if it's sprayed or not so if i didn't grow it then i would usually peel it and i'm going to be using two tomatoes so a cucumber two tomatoes I'm also going to go out into my garden and pick some spring onions because I did not get any cilantro. I would have much preferred to use cilantro, but I don't have that. So I'm going to pick some spring onions and I'll be back. All right, so let's get to cutting up everything. So let me place this over here. I'm going to start with cutting up the spring onions. Okay. And I'm going to go with the cucumber. So I'm just going to be putting my spring onions into this bowl here. This is what I'm going to mix my, put everything to make the salsa together. All right, so I'm going to take out these seeds. I don't want the oily water to come into you can't see me, but I'm here. I'm just scraping all the seeds into another container because I don't want it on the board as it would be too watery. I don't need all that water in my salsa. Okay, so I just took a spoon and I scraped all the seeds. All right, so let's get to cutting up our cucumber now. So basically that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be cubing up my cucumbers. So let me get to doing the rest of it. Okay guys, so we finished with the cucumber. We have diced it up nicely. Now let's dice up the tomato. So um, I'm just going to cut out the middle here, the top. And then I'm going to proceed to dicing up the tomato. Right, so again, I'm just gonna get go um, go ahead and dice up all of this, and then we will move on to the next step because I'm gonna make a nice vinaigrette to go over this. I'm sure you guys are going to like it. So let me get to cutting up the rest of this, and then I'll be back. All right, so we have our tomatoes and now cut up. And we have everything cut up here. Now, I think I'm going to have to get a bigger bowl because this is not big enough to hold everything because I will need to stir this. So let me get a bigger bowl and I'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to make our vinaigrette to go. Now, because of the amount of vegetables that I have here, I'm going to double the amount of the ingredients that I have to make my vinaigrette. Because the last time I made my vinaigrette, I just made just a small amount. Um, but this time I'm gonna double everything. So I'm gonna be using two tablespoons of rice vinegar. 
Um, two. two tablespoons of olive oil I'm going to use two tablespoons of well I'm using jaggery powder or you can use sugar two tablespoons of that I'm going to use Two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. I'm going to put a pinch of salt in it. Two pinches of salt because mama, I'm doubling the recipe. Put a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So remember, if you want to make less, just half whatever I did. Okay, so half a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, so let us stir this together nicely. Guys, you're going to really love this vinaigrette. I mean, I really enjoyed it, so I think you will enjoy it as well. All right, so let me just make sure I combine everything, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think that should be good. So now we're going to drizzle it over everything. I'm going to use all of it. And then I'm going to stir it in. We're going to leave it to soak in or marinate a bit. Of course, if you want to make this spicy, you could add jalapeno peppers to it. But I don't think I'm going to add any jalapeno peppers. Guys, there's one more thing that I wanted to add to this. I forgot to mention. And that is red onion. So I'm going to add some red onion to this as well. Okay, so I'm just going to cut up some red onion into this. The reason why... Um, I would use a red onion is because the red onions have a milder flavor than the white or the yellow so it's really good for salads and so forth alrighty so let us mix this in alright guys so basically that's it once again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next video bye for now